Hi everybody, it's your boy Tank of Mass. Today I just want to talk to very few of us. I've got so many messages of people trying to inquire that they've now got their offer letters to come study in Germany, but they have no idea what to do. Where do we head from here? So I'm just going to tackle all of those things in one video and I hope it brings value to you. Enjoy. I would have hoped that you'd have watched my previous video, which I'll link at the very top, that would have described to you some of the things that you should have done prior to getting your offer letter. But first and foremost, you've got to book an appointment at the embassy. The sooner you can get a date, the better. For those of you that have watched the video and have gone ahead and done that, well, kudos to you. Now, you've got to prepare for yourself for that appointment. And I've already given you ample information of what they will require and what you might need to carry to ensure that you're safe when you go there. All right, but just to cover all of our bases, we've got to book an appointment as soon as possible. I would have thought that by the end of this month, some of you would have already gone to the embassy and made your application for your visa process. All right, so you've got to ensure that all your documents are in order, all the things that are required for the provision of your visa and to prove that you've got a place in Germany, you can prove that you've got a legitimate place in Germany that you've got someone to live when you come to Germany, which we had already discussed and said you can have a rental agreement, you can have uh, a hotel, or you can have a relative that is already based in Germany that you can live with while you look for a permanent place to stay on your own. All right. Secondly, you're going to need a letter from the university to prove that you've actually got a place and that you'll be here for the purpose of study. Last but not least, which we said was probably the most important and the largest hindrance to coming to study in Germany, was the issue of financial means, right? which we did discuss that can be fulfilled in two ways. By right? depositing money in a German account, which will be blocked and referred and released to you on a monthly basis. The second option was for you to get a letter of obligation from a friend or a relative that can sign and consent that if anything was to come to you that they would take care of it simply that you would not be destitute in Germany. all right number two you've sorted out your papers you've booked your appointment you've seen the embassy and they've given you positive uh, returns as to your outcome book your flight as early as possible and the earliest day of your convenience when you can with some sort of assurance that you can come, that you can book your ticket, right? Because the sooner you book it, the cheaper it will be for you, right? Uh, the sooner you can secure yourself a ticket to come over to Germany, the cheaper it will be. Things are really expensive right now. Flights are really expensive. We all know what's happening in the world. So I would suggest that as soon as you know that you're most likely to come, it's easier to outlay that cash easier. You get a better itinerary, you get something cheaper. On the other hand, it is my understanding that many major airlines are offering free flight changes, unlike the time when I came. So if you come, if you book a certain date and you don't want to travel on that day anymore, you can always change to a new date that suits you or that suits your paperwork or that suits your present situation. Right? Please ensure that you check with your airline that that will be possible before you book a ticket. Because I wouldn't want to receive messages from people saying that I told them certain things about certain airlines, which is not true. I know that many major airlines are following that policy, but please ensure that before you book any flights, that you confirm with that specific airline that that still is their policy. That if you have a ticket with them, you can change it at zero or minimal cost. So that's the next thing you've got to do. You've got to book your ticket as early as possible. But around about this time, you are pretty sure that you're coming to Germany. Right? So the next thing that you've got to make sure you're ready is you're ready packed. Right? Be ready to go. You've gone to the embassy, you've sorted out your paperwork, they've given you positive instructions in terms of whether or not your visa application will be possible. Of course, they can never say this outrightly, but you, I sense, will get a good vibe after you submit your papers and there are no issues that are pending. Apart if you've got other issues, then that might be another issue altogether. Right, but for academic visas, it's rare to hear that they've big problems. 
So stay packed because your visa and your deadline to be in Germany might be very close. The day that you get your passport with your visa and the day that you have to be registered at school in Germany might be so tight. But to then book a ticket and to get packed and to say goodbye to everyone and move might take you forever. All right. So stay packed, stay ready to move, be nimble. Right? I've known people that have been given their visas a day before they're required to have registered at school. Right? And then they come here, as we've already alluded, in another video where I talk about the pros and cons of, of living in Germany, I talk about time. They're very time conscious. So if you're late, you're late. Right? So stay ready to move, stay nimble, stay on your feet, stay packed. So you finally received your visa. The embassy has called you, they've said you, you've been approved, you can come and pick up your passport. You rush to the embassy, you pick up your passport, you're ready to go, you catch your flight. But before doing so, ensure that you've got all your papers ready to show immigration upon landing in Germany. So you would want your rental agreement and your university acceptance letter at the ready to show to immigration to prove where you're going to stay and where you're going to be studying. All right. Uh, that, all that's left to say is enjoy your stay, enjoy your time. It's not always going to be cherries and roses, but do the best you can to have a good time in any place that you do. Because anything worth doing is worth doing the very best you can. I love you, never leave you. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to.